Alrighty, welcome back to it. Welcome to the burning topic. My name is Sky Cool. Sky Cool everywhere. Every social media. And you also can follow us on the burning topic on, on Instagram, on Twitter, I think. But yeah, basically here on YouTube. And we today we have someone who has been taking the industry by storm. Someone who has, you know, took the whole year basically in the music industry she literally took the whole year and people were sad about it <laughs> ladies and gentlemen please help me welcome mashuru muswewu you even make me nervous i can see why you are why you put it like don't be don't be don't be are you good though i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good now that you're here <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Thank you, thank All you. Right, I just wanted us to play a game. Firstly, welcome to the burning topic. I just thank wanted you. us to play a game so that mm -hmm. the game is called "What Comes to Your Mind." So, I mean, <laughs> literally, when I say a word or a name, you mm -hmm. must tell me what comes to your mind when you hear the person or a thing. Okay, you know. okay. Number one, mina nawe. So me too. Your mind. No, not like that. Minawe yeah. changed my life. Give it like Oh, give me a chomi. Aha. So a matrix combo with Mashuru makes sense. Right. Musically, I think we work very well together. Every time I think of Minanawe, I think mm -hmm. of how well I work with So uh, but at the same time I, I, I realized how how I, I think I realized how good I was in music mm. with that song. Really? Yes, I believed and then, in myself. Then. Mama. Eh, I did not believe in myself then. I think Minanawe um, gave me... Because how I realized that uh, my voice got cut is very different from Minanawe. So mm. Minanawe was me actually setting my own voice mm. like into the industry and in the map. Mm, you have to find And you voice. answered two of the questions because I was going to ask you about him. I was like, so I made tricks. Yeah. Number two. <laughs> we thinking. Now I like it again. So I made tricks. So we're going to number three then. Okay. Hish. Ask it. Your mother. Amazing. What comes to your mind? Ah, she's such a sweet person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um she supported me regardless of what she wanted me to do in life. I mm -hmm. think um she ended up being my biggest fan overall. So I'm grateful for her and her patience. Amazing. Hey, Pella, it takes a lot of patience to raise. Hey, not like who tell us, Kolo. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, the music industry. What comes to your mind? Business. <laughs> <laughs> the, in, the industry, it's like um, you, you could love music, but the industry, it, it's a business platform. Mm. Um, but I'm glad that it, it gave me a platform to express myself with music. Mm. But it also taught me about business. Um, it taught me about certain aspects when it comes to like um, an ideal persona mm. for, for like social media or as a celebrity as a whole. Okay. What is my Mahu personally? Who is Mahu Musweu? Ritsaba Mahu and Kirwa di TV, Lady Social Media. Who is Mahu Musweu? Do you still go by the surname? I, 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 eh? <laughs> I still, I think for me, I, 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 I Mashudu is, is, is um, a spiritualist. Mm. Um, she expresses herself through music in every way possible. I feel that I'm also like an inspiring tool because I use love songs to reach people. I think having a love song is one thing, but having a love song that um, people are able to listen to even when they're going through something for me mm -hmm. is the greatest part of Mashudu. And what's <laughs> that? Mashudu. What's <laughs> Deep in the bottom. <laughs> Why is everyone coming out of deep blue? Like, Rona, I met. Well, well, well. Ah, you guys do matter, but oh, like uh, I don't know. But go feel like it's a good thing. And come to think of it, ne, we come from almost the same schools. Like, it's around Kasi. So I could say maybe, Hore, it, 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 it's kind of amazing because I know Setro used to be in, in Fetus, mm. um, Fidelitas. Um, Dalunga used to be in fonts. I was also at fonts. So a lot of people like Lime Crazy Fidelitas. So it's it's and those schools, they were like um, a combo because we used to meet each other good crying. So we knew each other mm. way before mm. the industry. That's the funny part as well. 
hectic. And you mentioned choir. Were you in one? I was in one. I was. But none of the solo we still go for. I used to not be like go group setting because I used to do opera. But mm-hmm. I had a big voice for my age. So I was always like put on the side. Or no, you can sing alone. Oh, when you know, very, very. Hey, when you know, very, very. So you competing in all of that? I was competing. Mm-hmm. I actually ended up um, um, making a career out of opera at some point at okay. my age. How did that go for you? It went well, but I had to quit because I had to go back to school. Like, gr- it's either grade 10 or you're busy oh, traveling. Okay. And I was still young at the time. So I was like, mm, <laughs> let me just be like, <laughs> let's go back to school. Because I'm a tricky guy. Oh, wow. It doesn't make sense. Imagine if everything just simmered down after a while. Yeah, because they even offered me like a buzzery to, to, to learn in Edinburgh in London. But for music, I'm music I used to also I love something London else. And they take, okay, what did you love? I, I used to love physics. I used to be a nerd when mm. it comes to that. So choosing between learning music for so many years and I still wanted to pursue. But you're doing music now. You see how God... I know, but we should do more. But we are queen. Well, 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 well. But okay, yeah. the wings in front of you. Yeah, <laughs> the bending wings in front of you signify every single four questions that I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Okay. are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take. Okay. Just. 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 We even dip it in the sauce. Did you layer your stomach before this? I think I forgot to do that. Oh my god! I didn't know tonight. I will definitely call you to take me to the hospital. <laughs> hmm. How was your day? How was your day? My day is good. My day is chilly. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Very chilly. Okay. <coughs> it even has pear pear on it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're doing well. I trust you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying okay. every single drink. Okay. The first question, what has been the biggest challenge you faced uh, as a female vocalist or an artist? You know, in the Amapiano genre. And how have you overcome it? Um, um, <laughs> yo, okay. Properly. <laughs> I, I, think, I think my biggest challenge was um, branding as an artist. Because mm-hmm. I think there's a certain way that um, um, people want to see an artist be like. Mm-hmm. Whereas I wish it, there was a time, there was a time actually an artist would come expression about long hobayona and people used to accept that but when it comes to this if i want to come with my traditional clothes and sing on my piano people are gonna be like eh. i mean you can still but it's, it's not the same the brand okay. does not Align. it does not solidify right yes so my biggest challenge was actually that for branding me. and then branding. what is your team doing to fire this people. What is your team doing? No, my team is working. But I think at first, when I started, I mm. did not know anything. I think right now I'm doing very well. But at some point, when I started in the industry, I wish I knew all those things. I wish I knew um, what branding means, how um, uh, splits work when it comes mm. to a song. I think I wish that information was shared with the people a bit more often so that if you want to branch into the music... You already know what you're dealing with. I care about you. Did school fees? And then you know after then, did you pay your school fees? Is <laughs> and as far as help, <laughs> <laughs> and as far as must help, mm-hmm. have you? Are you done paying your school fees? Or no, I have. I had a buzzery when I paused. Um, no, in the industry. In the industry, how can a buzzery self self uh, associate? For real, you're not signed with anyone. No, I'm not I under record you label. Your own, right? Mm-hmm. Record I don't label. have a record label, yes. Mm. And I'm not under a record label. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Please take me back uh, from your first song to now. What was your first song? And how did you come about going to studio? We're reading, Thomas. I used to go to studio as a hobby. 
during like me doing a course mm. in varsity so kadi holiday i give it all chawa ke course ya go vit i used to just go oh you were at vit yes, what did I you was. study electrical but i didn't finish yeah, i can't give you one thing give me one to you little guy ah okay. you told let's at the end next set the last year mora ba na ba di the year Like yeah. What happens in every year that you're gonna leave? No, the man. Sofa eat? Me and I was like, bah. Um, and I was like, so yeah. I had to be like. Mm. So you can't do both. No, you can't give it. Oh, okay, okay. Give it, you can't even Ooh. if you try. So you were really smart. Mm, thank you, thank you. Yes, but yeah, <coughs> I used to. Oh God, this chili. <laughs> Lambert. Okay. Okay. First song. My first song was with Sir Trill Pula when I met Soa Matrix. I I met Soa um through me going casually to a studio and then my cousin was like, "Hey, I'm friends with Soa and he heard one of your covers. I used to do covers." Um so he wanted to pull you into studio. I I came to studio. I found I'm a piano there. I'm a, they were like, "No, try it." I'm like, "I'm not used to this." So my first song, Kibineka So Tuneli Pula. It was called Pula. That was good. Yeah. Was it? Ila tsara ya tsara wa feminine rata pinyo. They used to play it all the time. But uh we need to tsara as much because after Pula, khotla khute by Amutla Sikeng ka Pian Chaivani. I khotla mawa from then. Yeah. That, that's how I started. That song. You know, I love it more than Mina now. That's really? crazy. Really? I feel like for me cuz I'm a songwriter. Mm-hmm. A songwriter. Yeah. I'm a musician. I check the songwriting oh. more than the actual song. Yes, yeah. Mina now was good, but mm-hmm. for me, you know, the style of Tuta Manege was yeah. better for me as a songwriter. I was like, how did she think of that? <laughs> I was late. I had to go home. Mm. My mom was waiting for me in like a So I was like, I don't know, we came up with it. I was like, yo, go to my nigga, nigga, I have to go home. Mm. And it was like, you know, this could be a song. That's what Kapi said. And then it became a song. Since Ole Musoto, how do you write Zulu songs? How is it? I feel so sweet, definitely you can write Zulu really? songs, you can write Xhosa songs. I've had Xhosa friends when I was young. Um so I had to to to, to learn how to speak Xhosa because they used to speak like deep Xhosa. Mm. And then I had a very 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 deep Zulu friend in high school. <laughs> Mm. Her name was Londi. Hey, that person never spoke so so to English. You only heard it the kadi uh, presentation in <laughs> class. <laughs> That's even worse. So the rest you have to speak Zulu. If you speak so to she'd be like I don't understand what you're saying. And he's engaged. We understand so through that I learned different languages. Oh, okay. Mm. So inspiration around you. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving along the songs. What's up? And then after So that was like I Yeah. Oh, I was After good I did then uh oh, there was this song Go Valley where with Yams and Swallow. What does it go? I forgot. Um continue I woke up and the gong gong. Okay. It was very famous mm-hmm. in Victoria. Uh there was me zamming skitch. <laughs> there was me trying something else. Was it nice? It was. It yeah, was. Okay. It was. Yeah. And then that came in an hour ago after Lapo. Then I blew up. That was my biggest song mm. in my career. But I've had big songs that were like played underground because yeah, yeah, yeah. you'd find um situations like that. And how do you feel about that one? About in an hour. No, having to hear your songs underground instead of and then you finally find that one song that just says you. Was <laughs> ngama. At first I was scared. I mm. think I, I I hid myself from the world when I started mm. the industry. Excuse me, especially um during those Twitter days. I was very scared to be exposed. To like because I I felt like okay, if people know me, now they're going to want to be my personal life, maybe judge me for for certain things. Mm. I don't know. I like, care you never know. Uh but after mo mina nawe came through and I had to grow. I had to expand my my personality, expand my confidence. It's like you're too quiet for a musician. I get like why. Like what I get saying. Like go to town, you man. Aha, go pa 25k ya KFC. Pa 25k ya KFC. Then what that I get like you more get sense 25k ya KFC. Please. Asom plif toch. Oh, get sense. 
<laughs> but I feel like I like your personality, your nature instead. Really? Yeah. yeah instead of the so one cool. I see on TV, the one I see on TV is a, and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, pal, cause yeah, <laughs> one mistake, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's take another one, please. Eh? As I die inside, yes. let me do this. Let me <laughs> I like the dying part. <laughs> let me recoup. Yeah. <laughs> you know that means Yeah, I'm preparing. I'm preparing. <laughs> I'm preparing. Mm. And the question for this is Your songs have garnered, you know, millions of streams across platforms, right? Mm-hmm. So how do you handle the pressure of maintaining that level of success? I think <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, no clever, okay. <laughs> Yo, uh, uh, um, I think the only way to, to maintain it is by releasing your own music. I think this year, um, so far, I've worked on trying to make sure that I release something that is mine. Because I've never released an EP or an album before. Mm. I've always released singles. So this year, I'm very happy that I'm releasing something that's mine. You know, like, pa. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> expecting then that thing. Ah, uh, October. We are already here. Hey, uh, I'm, next week. I'm taking out a single this Friday, so it's oh, moving. Nah. Oh, I saw that. Mm, I can't wait. And then more <laughs> of that. Um, the songs, what are you working on? Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Delay clarification. Yeah. I'm working on an EP with, with um, so I think the con- the combination is so by far. Mm-hmm. And I think we owe people a project. Um, So I'm doing a project with him, and I hope people love it. So you're not going to work with mass music? Because I picture you in mass music. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Who would you want to work with? Let me say that. Uh, currently, mm. I think Black Coffee. I've worked with uh, a lot of people that I wanted to work with. Mm-hmm. I've never worked with Black Coffee. Do you think Black Coffee? And San L. Oh, Cairo. Oh, Cairo. San L. Also. San L. And Cairo. Can create something. San El Cairo. Cairo. I'm not too familiar. Uh, Cairo is amazing. I think you should listen to his music. I know the, n- the name. I don't know the music. Trust me. <laughs> Just go and stream one song and mm. you'll understand what I mean when I say Cairo. Amazing, amazing. Sure. So growing up, <laughs> going back to that one, mm-hmm. you went to a, a primary school, obviously high school. Mm-hmm. You sang choirs. You went to Verds. How does that influence your life now? Would I mean, you have done it different? No. Do you no. think what you, you what you were doing was okay? It was great. I think now I understand like the skills that I learned, um, especially also through the course that I was doing engineering. You pro you problem solve. Mm. It's good because aside from just being on the mic and singing, there's aspects to 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 how things are done. You need to be organized, mm. planning. Um, marketing. Um, so for me, I, they worked out for me. Plus, <laughs> one plus one is two. So it's also good. I think education is is good. Um, and I'd advise anyone that wants to be a singer, mm-hmm. not to ever leave music. Um, I education. mean school. Yeah. And what should they study? Can study They're just anything. You can study anything, but have a form of education. Mm. It's gonna help you. Because, like I said, the industry is a business. Mm. You sing, yes, but there's other aspects to it. So you need school mm. to understand. But one would say, things. but there's managers, there's one, two, three, there's one, two, three. Why do I need school? If there's people who are going to be doing that for me. Because eh, if you can't read your own contract, I don't know what you're going to do. Less there's managers, yes. But that manager is going to give you maybe a contract. And when I, you didn't go to school... Mm. And then when I you sign a like 55, 20. 80, 20, you get 20, he gets 80. 80. I'm making an example. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't understand? So a uh, school is very important because, yes, managers help us when it comes to contracts and, 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 and 
doing things, but you also need to be able to do things yourself. Not that you should do them yourself, mm-hmm. but be able to do them yourself. Have you had any drama with the manager, past managers? I've not had drama. I, I've been, I've had really nice people. Even now, I don't have drama. They are very nice people. For real. Mm. The fact that they no longer they. It's it's very something. rare to find good a good manager, but when you find one, mm. stick to one. Okay, how do you know a good manager? How can you tell a good manager? Um, it's fair dealings. That's number one. Okay. At the same time, a good manager also um, considers your emotions, regardless mm. of the work. A manager that is able to ask you, "How are you doing?" Mm. I'm checking up on you. For me, it, it's a good manager. Shoot, and I saw. <laughs> I saw somewhere on the internet that you were saying it's really hard for you to find gigs. Why? Media twisted it, guys. For I was real? just saying, mm. being an underrated artist. Underrated when? Not me. I was saying in general. Okay. It's something that they can say, but mm. I felt like if I can say it, but... I was just saying underrated, it's very hard to be an underrated artist because you'd find that your song was played everywhere, mm. um, but you never get um, the recognition that you deserve. Mm. And plus, I have been in that situation with Kute. Kute was um, a big song, but I was still an underrated artist. People didn't know who Mashudu was. So I is? know... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know how what? it feels like. It can brand. It's all about branding. Um, getting yourself out there. Mm-hmm. But people don't know how difficult it is to get yourself out there. This days, I don't think so. It is very difficult. Especially when you have a big song. It is very difficult. For real? There's a lot of big songs that are known by everyone, but people don't know the artist. They only know the mm-hmm. producer behind. But like when I maybe a song, let's say, for example, I release a song, Mashuru featuring someone big. You understand? They're only focus on the someone. It this song has someone big, and then... It it twists from me to that person instead of being mm. on my side. I understand. So it's very difficult. Trust me. People have preferences. Social media has a preference. Mm. There's a preference. But I've, I know great artists. I was just saying I know great. I even mentioned those artists, guys. How <laughs> did you even <laughs> listen? Mara, I mentioned. I mentioned people. I mentioned people. I was like, like these people. They are so underrated. Mm. Uh, so I was I was uh, pointing out a point, and then social media took it and twisted it into my should nagi gigi like guys in this lifetime I won't lie. Our <laughs> robala. Eh, I gigged. I won't lie. I won't lie. I won't lie. I don't even want to lie about it. I was just speaking in reference to having an experience being an yeah. underrated artist. Because when I saw that and I heard that, I was like, is she even getting paid? Uh, the right amount. Like I, I started thinking of you. You know, there's people who are keep on coming out to re. They're not getting paid. They're not making any money. They're not getting booked. That's what I thought. Yeah, but that's that. where school comes in. Like mm-hmm. it, you, mm-hmm. uh, you understand. But unfortunately, there's there's the bad part of the industry and there's a good part of it. But there's a mid one. You, you understand? Because mm-hmm. being um an influence, it's a process. You can't expect to be up there. Right. For like. Getting five minutes, Mina now is here, and then <laughs> I wanna. There's a whole lot of things that you need to do to catch yourself out there, mm. but it's very difficult right now. Do you see yourself going back to school to finish that degree? Yes, man. I'm left with just one year, people of South Africa. I can't. I have to go back. When? 2025. I've applied. You Unless promise. I have another hit, that's another issue. Ish. Ish. <laughs> Because Mila now is the reason why I didn't finish my last and year. And you are releasing tomorrow. I'm, re- I'm tomorrow. releasing just now, now. And what if something hits? Ish. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What's the hit song? One, two, three. One, two, three. What's the hit song? What's the hit song? What is your process of writing a song? Like, do you want a beat before? Or you, that person that will go in with inspirations that you took maybe from conversations or are you someone that goes in there with a book and a pen or what's I, your style? I do go in with a book and a pen. I actually write my songs mm. from a book. Um, and the beat, I just go there, whatever he feels like um, he has or he wants to work with mm. on that day, I kind of try to relate to it 
then I express myself because music is like looking back at certain memories and trying to relay them through a song or maybe certain wishes that you want for yourself maybe or what you're going through currently because sometimes the songs that we do like um Mina Nawe Nukingo I think I did them feeling those emotions at that exact moment just put his name on it. No, he doesn't. No, no. No, no. That's <laughs> what he That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Credit ways to people. He does work. He does work. I mean, I Working with Gabs is amazing. It's, yeah. it's amazing because he tries to understand you as an artist. Mm. Um, I think the first time I did, he was like, he tried to understand the kind of feel that would um make sense with my voice. So every song that I did with him made sense from there. For real? Mm-hmm. Did he make you listen to a beat or a melody before... And then ask you what do you feel when you hear this song or this melody or this. Beat. I think he studies you before, like saying, "Come to studio," because oh, really? I, I feel like I came to studio. Mm. There's certain um, um, music that I know with Gabza, mm. and then he created a certain beat, and it sounded like a sound that I, Don't I kind of yes, yeah. you know. And then he asked me, "Hurry, is this what you kind of are into? Would you be able to work on this? Do you like this? What do you prefer?" And I was like, "Man, I let's try it, man." man. Do you see it. how many favorite songs I have of you? I, if I know. Uh, oh. I can see, but... How is going on next year, Muslim? Yeah, <laughs> There's a hit coming, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, there's a hit coming. There's a hit Are you promising? Ah. I hope you will come out December. I hope you will come out December. I hope you will I trust you. You trust me. <laughs> what is the name of the song? Is it... Um, The song Nengi coming it? out on Friday is Ngembela. I did it with Shakes and Liz, um, Gabza the Small, okay. and Marumba Pitch. I wonder how it sounds. Because uh, there's t- two, three different sounds sounds in a song. How does that You're going to be shocked at Shakes and Liz's yeah. sound. I think people know them Gaf Funk 55. Mm-hmm. Trust me, there's more to those people than I was so amazed when I heard. So not Funk 55 vibes. Ah, uh, forget about not it. Not Mugwanti. I said Mugwanti. And I said Mugwanti. I said Mugwanti. I said Baseline era or two, you got a mara e, a garrot or a sla, last at na. But um, they have a different aspect of music that I've never seen before. And right. I hope that people listen to the their other sound because it might actually make waves. Yeah. It's different. Whew. Very different. Anticipation is crazy. Well, this will be out before the song comes out, which is a bummer. <laughs> I would have wanted it to come out before the song. At least now you but know yeah. it's coming out on it's Friday. On Saturday. I mean, on Sunday. I have different episode. elements there. You, you don't know what you're going to expect. What if it's Gija Marago? Would it know who it's different sound? So you have to listen to it first. Mm-hmm. How's it <laughs> working with Marumba Peach? Ah, uh, Marumba. Marumba has, is, 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 is someone that. um. You you give a beat to and he writes it on his own studio. He's like, oh, yes. So um, being in studio with him, I have been in studio with him. Mm-hmm. Um, he records himself, so he takes his time. There's a song that we did on his um, album EP. Mm-hmm. Um, so working with them, it's amazing because you get to watch someone that hey has this voice, <laughs> records <laughs> himself, has amazing vocals, and he takes his time. That's what I like about him. And when you listen to it after, you're like, is this what you were doing this whole time? Jeez. So he's an amazing artist Are you looking for me. to doing that, like recording yourself? Or is m- going to studio with the person more what you like? I would say I prefer them both. Because sometimes maybe you need to just go into a studio and mm. record. Um, get that feel as well. But it, it's amazing when you record yourself. Mm. Recording yourself is top tier. You're comfortable. The best, because you take your time. I'm sitting on a chair. I'm thinking of what I want to talk about. You take your time. Uh, everything that you want to say. Thinking, is it nice? Am I doing the right job? <laughs> Plus, I agree. When you have a session, it has to be a song that you do today. It has to be done today, and then we listen to it today. Yeah. So uh, having your own recording station is also an advantage. We are left with two. Two. Okay, two. I think that you left that big one <laughs> for the last one. Uh-uh, I'm taking <laughs> the other one. I'm taking that other one on that side. Mm-hmm. So looking, at, looking back, 
at your journey from singing in church, mm-hmm. you know, to becoming the queen of Amapiano. Um, are you claiming that crown? I am claiming it. I'm the queen Period. of Amapiano. Thank Period. you very much. Thank you very much. Case closed. We are not <laughs> taking applications. What advice would you give young aspiring artists? <sighs> Why are you still babbling? Uh, yeah, yo. <laughs> you know, people will come here and say, I, I'm scared of hotness, but they'll not be doing what you're doing right now. Really? Mm. I don't eat chili. Yo. Okay, but, okay. <laughs> yo. Okay, 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 okay. I would, okay. <laughs> okay, people. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. I think I'm um, take time with your craft. It took me time to find my voice, mm-hmm. especially listening from the songs that I did in the beginning to now. Um, I had to grow as a person. I had to expand my, like, think out of the box, but actually also get out of my shell because I used to be a very shy, nerdy person. Mm. So from that to being a, cert- a person that can speak, um, that can relate to people, talk to people, take photos, mm. for me, I think you shouldn't judge yourself for that. Take time with yourself. Take time with your craft and be patient. Because mm. um, if you rush things, you'd, you'll end up taking shortcuts that are not good for your health. Mm. Uh, so I would advise them to keep going because I also kept going. I think this is my fifth year in the industry. So uh, that should be a motivation enough to understand that you need to relax with it. Your time will come. Your time will come. Just relax with it and you'll mm. be fine. How do you know okay, this is my son? It does a hit song signify that, okay, this is what I need to do now? I, I, I think um, finding your own voice is finding your own element, an element that people can differentiate you from. Because mm. if you listen to my voice and how I sing, you definitely know her, that's my shooter, because mm. of the vocal that I expressed through it. So it took time for me to get there. I think I had to find myself in many ways, aside from music, myself. You understand. So you need to find something that um, you are comfortable with, but also represents you as a person. Mm. Yeah. And you spoke about uh, <laughs> your journey in the spiritual world. Oh, man. You were catching the Wi-Fi's there or the spiritual world there. Wi-Fi's <laughs> <laughs> You are catching network there. Oh, yes. I'm a spiritual person. Mm. I'm a spiritual person. When did it start? Did you always knew where I... I always knew when I was young. I I always knew when I was young. It started very weirdly. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd dream of something and then it happened at that certain point. It was it scary at some point because I used to dream of people like... Um, but mm-hmm. that was a stage. I think there was a stage and of... It, of it happened? It, it happened. I was always shocked. But I was young. I used, I used to, to tell my mom, that. like, Mama... I I dreamt of this. Mm. I never took them seriously until I was old and I realized, oh, dang. And I used to also I write to Bible codes. Go check button. Yo, I, I bet <laughs> my, <laughs> my <laughs> people I used to go to class with. Right. They know I used to write those Bible verses in jail on the board at some point. Hectic. So it, it has to do with church, your spiritual thing. Are you like, um, you're not a song one, right? Ah. I, I'm not a, I, ish, ish. I'm a spiritualist. I didn't go through the six months process. A because a prophet, <laughs> most, if I'm not mistaken, a prophet goes, it happens naturally. You don't have to be taught. Yes, I'm a self initiate. Okay. Yes. Uh, how did you find these? Or oh, these ones are assistants when I see them and then they help me with them. I think they, oh, okay. uh, it was a, I think, a, a three day process, but how was it? I it was hectic. I was even thinking six months. Hey, no, no, no shade, no shade. I mean, you're not shady. Um, I think, but I heard people sleep on the floor and they get bitten up. Hey, who beats them up now? Yeah, they are, they are you chief, guys get beaten up. Chief networkers. <laughs> I, I don't know Cobelas, that part. Yes, I wanted that name. I don't know that part of the spectrum. Yo, guys, you guys get beaten up. Anyway, I did a three day thing and then I was done. Because some people don't need to do that. They just need to go through a process where you revive that spirit. Mm. Then you move out from it. 
So you need to make sure that you don't go through a six months process, whereas you just needed a week. Mm. That's the second. How do you know though? If you it, wait. If it isn't for for the person who's helping you, how do you know? You wait. You are here for. Two You're days. gonna get the right information. You wait. Don't rush the process. You wait for what network? Ah, network yet? Sorry, like you'd get. Because I used to, you know, like when you want advice from people, and they'd be like, no, you need to go through that six months um, mm. process. I took time to, uh, to to actually say, yeah, this is what I need to do. Because I felt like it was, I didn't feel like that, that was what I needed to do. Not mm. because I'm judging the process, but I didn't feel like that's what I, I needed to do. Mm. Then you meet different people that profit you at some places that are weird. They tell you, don't do that. <laughs> And then you see another one, maybe I went through a gig in the free state. Someone will be like, no, nah, don't do that. Mm. You know? And then you get, they will send you something. You just need to wait. True. So what do you do? What's yours? I pray. Like pray to pray. There's nothing else that beats prayer. Mm. And I'm not, um, you, you pass, you pray, but I used to pray a lot because I felt like God like will ultimately give you the correct answer. Mm. Pray for this podcast to have one million views, please. Amen. Amen. We're getting one million views, right? Are the networks connecting? <laughs> Are we getting hey. one million views? Mm-mm, I get you next, but amen. <laughs> oh, you already know. Ciao. <laughs> you don't Mm-mm. wanna tell us. Mm-mm. Can we go to the last one? Because I want to ask you this, and I want you. Oh, you're taking mine. It's a bit like a whistle. Okay. Uh, this one, please name five best female vocalists for you in South Africa. Because I'm not dot. Hey, okay. Okay, they are the only females anywhere at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's no bushle. There's Msaki. Yeah. 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 There was there's Leandra Vert. Who's that? Oh, he's, who's that? You're gonna know soon. Okay. Leandra Vert. He's mm. coming with content. Content. Um, can I for ne? The fifth one. There's so many. That's the thing. So five is small. Uh, <coughs> yo. Huh. I'm trying to choose one from all the people that I'm thinking about. What about the person that I called you with? I said Mahoud. I said Mahou. Mahou. Mahou is Mahou. also the best. Uh, is also the best. But now I'm thinking about my playlist. Oh, but I also play her songs though. Mm. Okay, I get you. I get you. But now I love you so too. So friends, it's Mahou a game. Chum. Chum. There's nothing. It's the jokes and jokes. It's not that person. So which one here? Ooh, but now I'm going to Okay, let's say Basi slash Mahou. Are you a slash? Are you, ah. a, are you a half more like thing? Which one? Mahu. Basi. Mahu, Basi. Mahu. Mahu. Basi, I love you. We you're love my, you, Basi. You must everything. come here and answer for this. You're my Mood reggae. I love you loads. To come nice. So thank you very much for coming <laughs> through. Thank you. Thank you for barbering with me. <sighs> where do people? Must for, where can people follow you? So I, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram, Mashuru underscore vocalist. Mm-hmm. You can follow me on Facebook, Mashuru vocalist. Mm-hmm. You can follow me on oh TikTok, Mashuru underscore official. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I have to. You see, I can't even. I don't even know where to look. I, I see your tears. I. <laughs> 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 um. You can also follow me. <laughs> 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 on I Twitter, I heard this. <laughs> on Twitter, <laughs> yeah. Majudu <laughs> underscore. Thank you. <laughs> that was Majudu, man. We ate oh, yeah. the chilliest wings ever. If you want to come here, do let me know, and we'll put you here. Who do you want to see? Let me know also on the comment sections. Do make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This is the burning topic. My name is Sky Cole. Follow me. On every social media platform. So I'll see you on the next one. Ask us for what you do. Stay blessed, everybody.